A1, vacuum and sewing in Reno, Nevada's live stream for Friday. Black Friday, the, is it the 27th? The 27th of November. Before you know it, this is going to be, the year is going to be over. Christmas is going to happen and be done. Holidays will be passed. This year has just been flying by. We hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I know I did. I ate too much, maybe imbibed a little and drank both coffee and now told Jeannie I need some of her green tea. It's going to be hot. You're going to burn your mouth. You're going to burn it. So this is one of those things where... You know, you put your tea in here and then it's got the strainer and then there's a top to it. And when Jeannie first gave me mine, I also didn't realize that it is a also a thermal carafe. So the very first sip I took out of my tea tiger. You're which like gulp. I like You're I like, scalded my <laughs> mouth like my entire esophagus. <laughs> it even burned in my stomach. It was crazy. Yeah. It was, it was a bad experience. He sure learned a lesson that day. It was a bad experience. Far From far away, Jeannie looked like a ninja. Is that because she's Asian? Because I can do this too. And then you got to pull your hair across in front of your mouth. Like this? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, it's a tea tiger. Tea tiger letter. Which, you know, that's a tea tiger. My friend You're Noelle supposed Macy to gave use it to me. Loose leaf tea in there, but Jeannie doesn't do that. I so, want to do loose leaf tea, but I have not had a chance to go. We have loose leaf tea at the house. No, I looked for we it. We have an entire I container for it. of it. I know we do. Find it. I'll find it. Get some Get it. sugar to place Get on top. Find tongue. it. Um, so, uh,. I, I, I planned on getting so much more done yesterday, but then... It was a holiday. But then I, I had to cook, and then I had to eat, and then I had to eat again. And then, Dinner was really good. And then I had to have dessert. Alton Brown's uh, Good Bra Eats Roast Turkey brine and roast recipe did his garlic mashed potatoes. Is like the bomb. So I, I made the garlic mashed potatoes. Patrick did the potatoes and I was mashing them and he's like, I'm, I'm you? like he told me to finish them. So I go, okay. I walked outside with the dog. And so I walk inside and she says, it's they're really salty. And I'm like, uh, what are you talking about? You're supposed to put like, uh, it was like a half a teaspoon of salt in there. And, and I see this look on her face and I'm like, how much put, how much how much salt did you put in there and she's two like two tablespoons it called, it called for two tablespoons and i'm like you were just supposed to put that in the water to boil it so we made more potatoes and they were, they were so good they were so salty and delicious <laughs> so we made I had more. to get up and drink like water 9 times last night yeah it was definitely a high sodium night that was uh that might have been as, as a result table. of the it was good wine though. Wine and the alcohol. I had I had a little wine last night too. That was, it was really, really good wine. Nice wine. We have a friend who is a bit of a wine. Uh, and his dad's like a big wine connoisseur, so we uh, we had some very nice wine. Yes. Thank you, Bill. And I normally I don't drink wine, but um, it was really it was really good wine, and I I didn't get sick. She did turn red. But I, I drank, how much do you think I drank? Maybe like oh, a quarter cup? Oh, it was like cup? a couple ounces. Yeah, that's all. It was nice. Um, what was the best thing? So I thing? was trying to, so I was trying what to What was get... the best thing from your dinner? I wonder. What was the best thing from our dinner? I thought the turkey and the gravy were really they good. They were really good. And the, and the mashed potatoes were really the good. The mashed potatoes were pretty and good. The green beans, I thought, were really, really My mom good. did a great job on the green beans. She did. Thanks, Grace. Those are good. And uh, good wine doesn't make you sick. It makes her sick. <laughs> yeah. <Depends laughs> it, or it can. Depends on how much you drink. That's because you were eating along with the drinking. Yes, you were. You were. The, uh, 
Um, I thought that pumpkin spice bread was really good too. That was really good too. They did yeah. a fantastic job with that. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the stuffing. The stuffing was really good. You know, the whole dinner was really good. It was. I can't wait to have dinner again tonight. I was just thinking right when we were starting the live stream, I'm already hungry again. And I'm like, how can I be hungry? But we ate at 6.30, 7 o'clock. Momo, Momo had a tough, tough day yesterday because a, a lady dog Momo was over. Momo had a great time yesterday. A lady and dog over? there was a lady dog over. And Momo's only three months. Was it snow? No, it was Ginger. Oh. And Ginger's. Mo Momo, Momo only had eyes for Ginger. Yeah. It took Ginger like three hours to let Momo know that she didn't want to be ridden. <laughs> <laughs> and then as soon as she let him know, he stopped. But which, he was all over her. But he all just wouldn't. He night. just was having like so much fun with her. Oh my god. He was just like believe, licking her face. And I can't believe they, they. He wants to do that at like three months. He wasn't. I mean, that was more of a "I'm playing and I own you" move. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't. Anyhow. I don't think he, he, he. They haven't dropped yet. He's not trying to procreate. You know. Well, I don't think he's trying to procreate. I don't think that's always about procreate. Um. Oh yeah. You know. Sorry about tearing up yesterday, but I just. Uh, <laughs> Yes, that was, uh, we are so thankful for all of you. And I do think about all those, um, I think about all those memories I have from yeah, Thanksgiving. Don't start. Yeah, let me not start because it'll just go there again. And then I won't be able to say anything. Alex and I were sitting on the couch waiting for our Zoom invitation. Oh, you no. never responded. I did. I texted you back like two minutes after you texted me. And at 930, I was like, I don't think we're going to be like we got all ready. I, we, you like, know, your text. Your, no. It's funny because your your text, I, I like you texted me later, yeah. but it was uh, it was later. Yeah, because I said um, um, I got like, your text, and he said and he didn't hear from you guys. Immediately after. Oh, no. I got it. I responded like two minutes after you sent the first. Because we wanted to have Shauna and um, Alex. I was like, and... Alex, we have to do it. I don't oh. want to be alone on Thanksgiving. And he's like, okay, I'll get up. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I never got the text. Oh, I there's swear. There's no text. There's no text. What? I swear, yeah. I never got the text because I, I, I like I was paying back attention. Into the group text, like, no, uh, two uh, yeah, after. I didn't. I like you can here. You can look at my phone. I, I didn't get it. You. I so, um, so sad that sad. Shauna and Alex weren't there. I sent them a text going, "We'd love to have you guys on, but no pressure because it's a holiday and." If you're in your PJs and you don't feel like doing it, we were in our PJs pretty much at that time. So was I in my PJs? I was in my PJs. Sometimes my my um the what I wear the day before becomes my that's PJs. almost always her PJs. <laughs> and then what I wear what I wear the next day. That's how fancy I am on Thanksgiving. Um. Oh, that's awesome, Bonnie. Her granddaughter made her first Thanksgiving meal. That's always exciting. Your first Thanksgiving meal, you feel like, you know. Such a grown up. You feel all grown up. And uh, now I just feel old. <laughs> another Thanksgiving. <laughs> just like that. AARP card. Did you? <laughs> Patrick, I got, I got an AARP. She's now officially a card carrying member. <laughs> Patrick keeps going, um,. You got your you got your membership letter from AARP. Do you want it? And I go put it in the trash. And then he just keeps. We need those benefits. He's like, we can get benefits. We got for... like discounts on our Metamucil and stuff. <laughs> Patrick, <laughs> don't listen to him. So I've been getting AARP letters since I was thirty-five. She's been pushing fifty since she was like thirty-seven. When do you when do you qualify for AARP? Is it even is it even um, what age? I thought it was older. Is it fifty? It is fifty something. I don't know. So he kept insisting on giving, it, and I was like, "Put it in the trash can." And he came upstairs and hand delivered it to me. I threw it at him. No, she actually put it in her bag because as soon as I was like, "We need those benefits," she was like, "Look at I could 60. use some." I could use some benefits. You can't. 
Oh, well. 50. It's 50 is when you can get it, right? I guess this is my year. That's it. That's it. So we've got Michelle Klein from Illinois in the uh, live stream as well. Today happens to be the Friday Black Friday giveaway. Oh, so we are doing a Black Friday special in the store. And we're going to be doing, we're going to try and do a big um, uh, specials. Yeah, so um, just to kind of manage the amount of traffic in the store, given where the COVID numbers are, we are we were gonna yeah. we're gonna make like announcements kind of day of in store deals. Like for those of you who are out of town, if you guys want to take advantage of those deals, like we can even set up video calls, stuff like that. Um, today is the Friday giveaway. So make sure, like Michelle, you guys comment. If you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, the way that works is you every- can, You can even say, Patrick, you're a jerk for g- giving <laughs> Jeannie her AARP mail. <laughs> that would so, be an appropriate comment. So uh, say hello, make a comment, do whatever you need to do. This um, is a big at, giveaway. At, at the <laughs> end That's of the- at the end of the show, as as folks are want to call it, we will uh, use a random comment picker to identify that unique comment. So really only one comment matters, although a couple people have kind of figured out <laughs> oh that you can also comment on YouTube. I guess that's one way you might be able to get two comments. The way it works is we also comment. And if it chooses our comment, then we put the YouTube names in a hat. Or I think at this point, that random We've comment never... picker will actually do YouTube too, but it's an either or scenario. Yeah. Oh, it's like so, we, we, so we've then never had a YouTube go, winner. We go back to the random comment picker and run it for the YouTube video. So uh, you make a comment, just let us know that you're here. And when all is said and done, we will pick uh, a winner for the Black Friday giveaway. If you're if you're not local, you do have to pay for yeah, shipping. Yeah, you get the product for free. And um, we had a lot of people win. So Kimberbell on sale, the thirty five percent off, right? Yeah, all, all we're doing weekend. Thirty percent off all Kimberbell all weekend. Thirty. Thirty five. Thirty five. Okay. Did I say thirty? You said thirty, but that's okay. 35% off all weekend. All weekend. Um. Machines, if, crazy deals. Call me. If I don't, come in. if I don't and we'll, have a and Terry, I'm gonna call you this morning. If I don't have um, if I don't have it in stock, then I will order it for you. But I just don't know when I can get it for you. But whatever you want, whatever you want, ladies. Thirty five percent off all your Kimberbell. All right. So what is the giveaway today? Do we have any other uh, other? We have lots of stuff to talk about. Right, we do so the giveaway at the end of the. All right. So we and better start end talking. Of the show. Okay. So I was, I thought I was going to get so much more done. I was like, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this done. I'm going to get this Lucille's done. Lucille's on from Switzerland. Hi, oh my Lucille. God. Hey, Lucille. Um, that's so exciting. Yeah, Lucille's from Switzerland. Isn't that exciting? What t- Lucille, what time is it there? You got to let us know. Oh, um, Kimberbell fabric, you know what? 30% yeah. off too. Fabric also. Let's just do it. Whoa. Let's just that's do a it. Big deal. Yeah. We're, All right. big we're We gotta we gotta we're we gotta crazy. keep talking though. Oh, okay. So <laughs> okay. Um, you guys are a lot of you are from out here, but so you don't know crazy Eddie's, but I'm like we've always joked around the fact that we're like kinda crazy like Eddie. crazy Eddie. His <laughs> deals are insane. <laughs> want to be like that i don't want to go to jail either (laughs) (laughs) crazy eddie went to jail so i thought i was gonna get so much done i in my head and i was like i'm i'm done my with my cooking so i thought all day i was gonna just be uh embroidering and then she had to come and enjoy the family and hang out with friends and have a good time i did i did i really wanted to just sneak away but i just couldn't do it and it was wonderful. As sometimes I do need to just unplug. So I'm almost done. I just finished up my stitching. But um, this is going to be a class. And uh, what day is it going to be? Mm. I'm still trying to figure out how to do it. It's, all, it's only I, 16th. I can't decide how to do it. 
so sugar the, yeah this is the sugar chalet from oesd it is so cute and i've been using i used to do all my oesd with two layers of dissolve away stabilizer um but a lot of times lately it's been calling for badge master so if you've never used badge master this is what it looks like it's uh it's like this plasticky stuff what i love about it is, is that I feel, rinse away too yeah it's a rinse away i feel like there's less pull it is it's so solid so if you've ever used something like um hydro melt uh i did a kimberbell um i think it was the god bless america bench pillow and two layers of hydro melt but it does end up cutting and perforating it so it pulls apart. The Badge Master is stronger than that, so it's not gonna pull apart until you pull it apart. So um, so I have my pieces, I will dissolve them today and then I will bring it in, well, I won't see you tomorrow because it's Saturday, but then um, on, Tuesday, on Monday, I'll have it all put together. But it is so cute. I don't know if you do embroideries where you're stitching them out and it just makes your heart warm and happy. But um, I gotta show you the pieces. Isn't that, well, here, maybe I'll turn it so you can see it. 6.30 p.m. in you? Switzerland, by the way. That's perfect. We can totally hang out if it's 6 p.m. in Switzerland. See, aren't they adorable? So when I did this class, I mean, when I did it, and that's all the pieces. It was probably about six hours of stitching. And so that was on your multi-needle? I did it on my multi-needle. I did it with multiple pieces and a hoop. So I did it with an eight by 12 hoop. So if you still, if you don't know really how to uh, group your designs, and then I did it with color grouping as well. So I did all the applique right up front. And then I'd say, you know, an hour and a half of it was stitched just my multi-needle. I might have to go down and check on it and uh, make sure that the bobbin didn't run out, but it is cute. And on the new multi-needles, you wouldn't even have to do that because I don't have a new multi-needle. You. I don't have one. Maybe somebody might get me one for Christmas. I'm just kidding, don't get me one. I, I, Last year she got a regalia. I did. So, um, aren't these so adorable? And this fabric, I don't know, it's it was a um, was a moda flannel, but it was it looked like crispy gingerbread like crispy? that. That it had like look, doesn't it look like it, does. it, it cooked, looks like gin gingerbread. It, it's perfect. So, um the ladies have all been do doing a ton of freestanding lace, so we're going to do some freestanding lace classes. This is, I don't want to like stress people out and have you be like, oh my God, I've got to get that all done. I've got to take this class and do this before the holidays. So we'll get this done when we get it done. I think it's going to go on the calendar in about two weeks. Um, I only have two of the designs. And, in the and store, for so these classes, just more. given the time that it takes to stitch, generally what they'll do is they'll show you how to group designs, do multiple designs in the hoop. Uh, and then you'll have homework to kind of do the stitching and then maybe a follow-up class to do the assembly and uh, of the design. Does that, is that accurate? Yeah, and then so, I'll show you my technique to put them together. Call me, Melinda. I can make that happen for you. <laughs> we can make that happen. So, um, Shauna, Shauna ha has an upcoming class. Is it on the calendar? It is. I'm is it putting these? it on the website right now. Yeah. So Shauna's gonna be, do we have the, can you grab me the design? Yes, or is that it? No, nope, that's not it. Okay, so Shauna's gonna be doing freestanding lace napkins. If you've never done freestanding lace napkins before, they are super fun. So um, aren't these gorgeous too? Wouldn't these look fantastic on your dining room table for the holidays? And uh, if you've never done freestanding lace, see how that, that is all stitching. And there's lots of different designs. So this is OESD's winter tablecloth and napkin corners. And um, see all the different options that you have. So you don't have to do the snowflake. There are acorns and there are pine cones. So you could do it on, you could have a full set. You could have all of your napkins and then you could have the actual tablecloth as yep. well. So you can do your tablecloth corners. You could blow them up. You can make them a little bit smaller and they're gorgeous. So if you've never done freestanding lace before, this would be a great beginner project. If you just love freestanding lace, they're just, uh, they're just absolutely beautiful. Aren't those so pretty? 
So that's going to be coming up. Do we have a date on that? We do. It is uh, December 15th in the afternoon. December 15th in the afternoon. So, um, and then will you link it to that? Yes. All right. And then Michelle worked on a freestanding lace project this weekend. Michelle, do you want to show them yours? I love the fabric. I was like, this fabric is gorgeous that she used for the applique, and it's silk, so it is beautiful. Hello, everyone. Is so, this another OESD design? It is. Do we oh, have Check one? these out. So these are... I haven't done freestanding lace in a very long time, and this was a great project to get back into it. So, um, again, I ran mine on multi-needle too, but you could run it on um, a flat bed machine just in the same way. But I put all the pieces in one hoop, and I used an 8 by 12 hoop for both of them. Um, essentially, it takes, I don't know, about 130 minutes, maybe 150 minutes to run. And the same thing, um, this one, the, uh, the directions called for two layers of wash away stabilizer and then you use like shape flex underneath the fabric i used um, a little silk dupioni but you could use any kind of cotton fabric as well and since jeannie has been using badge master i thought i'd give it a whirl and i actually like the stitching just as well um i actually better with the uh, badge master over the top so two layers of wash away on the bottom one layer of badge master on the top and um let it run until it was done so so kind of a similar thing there with that class in that, um, you know, essentially, you, you know, you're not going to be making all of them. You just do one and then kind of assembly yeah, stuff like that. I'm going to have one of them um, already run off um, prior to class so that we'll, we'll get all hooped up and we'll get your um, design color sorted and we'll get, um, you know, make sure you have enough space in between pieces. And once you start pressing go on your on your machine, then I will have one already ready to assemble so you can see the assembly in class. Yeah. So this is the design. Um, it's called Silver Bells. And we're going to do the design for half off. And then these are the 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 all the ones that you well, can do on really the back. There's some really pretty ones. I, some of them, um, not all of them are 3D. There's three different 3D ones, but the rest of them are really pretty too. I just didn't have a chance to run we, them all We had off. a customer that made one for us and brought it for for Jeannie and me that was yeah. gorgeous. Yeah, they're really- uh, they're, they're beautiful. You know, the assembly on them, everything about these, um, everything about these designs is so perfect. I mean, truly the digitizing is perfect. The assembly oh. is as you would expect it. It actually looks like what's on the package. Um, so it's always nice when that happens. And I, I just think that that silk that Michelle added, it's just... It's, it's so very cool, Yeah, isn't it? it makes it look so beautiful. So that's going to... Would we have a date for that one? Yeah, that is on the 7th in the afternoon. Afternoon oh, of so the 7th. That one's, that one's soon. So you can, you can get an we entire got tree done before Christmas if you so desire. <laughs> yeah. They're so cute. I love them. Thank you. They're adorable. You're going to, when you see them, you're just going to fall in love. I mean, just the detail on the very top, like the little cap that's on the very top, that just makes it even more special. I love the way she, they're like on here too. And that, that Dupiani silk is, it's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. We do sell the Badge Master. So yes. I'm, I'm carrying it now in the store. I'm not exactly sure how much I have, but I did order Badge Master. And we have a lot of the other OESD um, stabilizers. And I find that, you know, they're a little bit different um, than what we have with the Baby Lock. And I really like using them for a lot of these projects. So, um, oh, Matt Kirby is falling in love. Matt Kirby, are you falling in love with this ornament? Because... I think it's time for you to call us and maybe think about an embroidery machine. So you could create this for all your friends and family, Matt. Don't you think? I think you'd look so, uh, you would be you a should man just that wear sews. Them. I'm sure you could oh, yeah. find a way to actually wear them. They could be your, um, they could be your, <laughs> you know. You'd have to have longer tassels. I think we'd have to make, <laughs> we'll make them with the, the, like, the long, like, like beaded ones. 
I don't know what she's talking about. Um, so somebody uh, said, hey, did you guys already announce the giveaway? We have not announced what so we're giving special. away yet. Yes, it is. It's so, I think so, it's so fun. Um, so should we talk it's about fun. the giveaway or do it's we have really more fun. to talk about? We're going to, you know what? We have gotten a lot of these OESD uh, designs. Some of you have these already. So I have a, a certain ones that we'll have as our giveaway. So if you do win this and you've already gotten it, then I'll see if there's another one that you can trade it for. But there is a selection of them. So it's not for, you can't just trade it for just anything you want in the store. But we are going to do some of the... Um, Patrick. Kirby said it's a small hat. <laughs> um, so are we doing this now? Do we have anything else to discuss? Oh, there's a uh, get to know your skin and cut class for the oh. 230, 225, and 125 on the 10th. And that's going to be the last one um, of the year. Of the year. Okay, did you hear that? So if you've gotten your skin and cut... Or you're getting your scan and cut. When are we getting scan and cuts? Do we have any idea? Uh, we were supposed to get them before the end of December, but I've not heard anything else. Okay. Uh, so that might be. Uh, should we like, talk foil kits? Foil kits. Oh, yes. So I was like, Patrick, I just don't understand why we can't get information about these foil kits. So, because a lot of you had ordered the short, foil kits. <clears throat> foil kits were in. We've talked about this damaged shipment. They. they, they sent us 16 so that in a was... box that never arrived. So so we had ordered 16 of them. They never arrived. We then ordered 24 more uh, later, and we still haven't gotten those. So one of the things that we've done over the last couple of weeks is we've been talking to Brother to try to track down Nobody knows where the, anything the, is. The, or... Well, no, I mean, they, they have an idea of where stuff is, but like it's been tough to figure out what's actually happening. So one of my questions for them was Can from just... that lost shipment, you know, I need at least 16 of these things. Uh, he told me, uh, I can't remember if, I think it was Tuesday. They're not in that stock. That's what they Patrick do is not trying to have say. Them. That, They're not that in stock. brother does not have... The foil kits and and they are supposed to be in country the end of the first week of January. So I'm we might so see sorry. them earlier, but uh, you know we just wanted because we know some of you are waiting for them. Is there a discount code for the Kimberbell products online? No, it's in store only, Joanne. So you'd need to come in or call the store. And we and could I'll, do some I'll kind of video call or you. something like that. We'll do a video chat. Um. The, and and whatever you want. If it's not online, just call us. And then giveaway. Giveaway. Oh, okay. So we're giving away um we're giving away some of the Holly Jollies. And I know, like I said, some of you have gotten these because you've gotten your OESD. So we're giving away the Holly Jollies. And these have these incredible, adorable uh Sounds embroidery like designs. They're so cute. Like, put them on stockings. If it weren't They're for those so meddling cute. kids, Kirby, we would have had those designs a long time ago. These are <laughs> uh, Winter Wonderland applique and quilting. And they're so much cute. They're so much cuter than, than you see them here. But they're, they're cute, but cuter when you stitch them out. Um, we're going to do some of the, this is freestanding lace, so here are some more ornaments. And three-dimensional freestanding lace. And um, we're giving out 10 today. So 10 winners today. What? 10 winners. That's crazy. Are you feeling lucky, ladies? Because if you crazy. are, I want you to, even if you're not, because I never feel lucky. I feel like I used comment. to. Comment. Make sure you comment. Make sure you comment because a lot of people always say, oh, I never win anything. Well, maybe it's time you win something. You know how many of our winners have been like, oh, my God, I never win anything. Like all of them? I never win anything. Yes, but you, you do. But you do it A1. So we're going we're gonna to give away 10 of these. Isn't that exciting? That's 
to like ten I different said, winners, not ten to one person, but ten yes, different yes, winners ten, will ten get ten different a, winners. And then if you, um, like I said, if you already have one of these, there's uh, there's three different Holly Jolly CDs, and there's uh, two of the Winter Wonderland. So I'll let you um, swap them out if you already have one of these. So. Should we just do it now? Let's just do it now. You can't while the to, stream is live. Yeah, you have, have to, to end, end the stream. It. All right. Then, um, well, I guess we need to say goodbye if you want to see who's going to be the big winner today. Oh, my God. Make sure you comment. Hurry. Post a comment. You want to put your comment in because we're on top of it today. We're not going to forget and then do it on Monday like we've done before. We, we've never forgotten completely. We've been so busy that we haven't had a chance to do it. I want, you know what? Maybe you Matt are going to be a winner Maybe today. you are going to be a winner today. <laughs> just, just get, you know, channel your inner winner, ladies, and Matt Kirby. Channel it. And Matt Kirby. And Matt Kirby. All right, so let's say this, though, because the random comment picker, I don't think, picks, like, a second winner, picks a third winner, picks it a can, fourth winner. Oh, you can set it up to do that? Well, you could. You just keep clicking... Oh, and it'll and then pick. It'll, like, randomly right, show you through the but you can only win once. Yeah, so because we want ten so different Matt, winners. So Matt, if your name comes comes up like ten times, I'm sorry, only once. <laughs> you only get it one time. Yeah, and then Matt, you're gonna need an embroidery machine. You're gonna to go with your free CD of embroidery <laughs> designs. <laughs> okay, have a great day. Be creative. Make something awesome. We will see you um, on Monday. And remember, Kimberbell's going to be 35% off all, all weekend. weekend. Um, and then if there's uh, anything that we don't have in the store, then you can... Um, we'll order it. We'll order it for you. Thank you very much. I already, you already yeah, said?